Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 4 as Italy. So, last episode, we took out Ethiopia, and we got some Italian tanks involved in the Spanish Civil War, where hopefully they will not die. Look at that cute little thing. Look at him. Now, do you... Th well, actually, why don't we have him stop, like, right here? See if these guys could use a little help. Um, I mean, it looks like their organization is just about gone, so... They might need a little assistance. Yeah. It looks like they need a little assistance here. So, what I'm going to do is have one of these guys attack him. And one of these guys circle around here. And it's this guy we're looking at right here. Um, they're in reserve, so they're not actually in combat yet. There we go. Now they are. Alrighty. That's what I want to do is free up these divisions so they can go elsewhere. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, they're Italian tanks, so they're not wondrous, but... Looks like uh, we still got them on the... Uh, on the back foot here. And we just got Industrial Effort 2, which I believe is some factories. And I know exactly where those are going. We need more support equipment. And we need more artillery. I think that's everything we had. Um, let's crank this up even higher. Extra research slot. Yes, we're going to get that. Nothing, I don't think there's any other industrial stuff for us to get. So what we're probably going to do... Oh, what is this going to give us? Well, that's military factories. No civvy factories, but we can get more military factories. I'm going to get this extra research slot before anything else, though. And we're in Spain to try to farm some experience. We used some of it to increase the size of our divisions, but... Uh, that's said and done. Alright, so these guys are done here. Let's send them down this way. And see what we can do. I mean, they seem pretty competent against the... Well, actually, let's put them right over here. Against the um, Republican Spanish forces. Right, let's get them in here. Launch an attack. Whoa, look at their... Their equipment's really low. Really low. I mean, right now we're not doing anything else. Why is everybody... Oh, the, I was about to say, why is everybody just sitting around? Maybe they don't have a, a situation where they could launch a good attack. Alright, so... Let's, uh... Keep you here. And... Oh, where's my other one? Where's my other tank? You. Uh, right there. Help with the flank. In my Japan series, this area was, um... A tough nugget to crack. So I decided to take it out early. Things are hideous. It looks like they just they're armed with like two machine guns. Games of the eleventh Olympiad. No big deal. How 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 bad is our artillery? Well it's filled right now. Our efficiency's really low. Um We have a surplus of six artillery pieces. That's not a lot. No, not it's not that's not a lot at all. I mean, I don't even know how many tanks are in these divisions. 60. So we, we're working with 60 tanks in each of the... Well, just, so we sent 120 tanks to help. That, that's that's decent, right? So we're just going to try to... Well, yeah, let's just try to roll up the for, their forces here. Towards Barcelona. I think we're getting a little bit of experience out of it. It looks like they're counterattacking. Yeah, but we're fine. Working on some manual control this time. Because I, I do actually like the manual control. I The battle planner is, is nifty. But I feel like it's... It needs a little work. I don't, I don't exactly know. It needs a little more functionality. Like, I want to be able to customize my battle plans a little bit more. Yeah, I think I think that's what I'm, what I'm looking for out of my battle planner. Is just a little bit more. These tanks are doing really, really well. I mean, even in multiple combat here, although it looks like multiple combats aren't even a, uh, a hindrance anymore. These they're getting attacked by... Well, they're attacking one direction, and then for a moment there, they were getting attacked in two directions, but we're cool now. Um, I'm going to actually have you cool your butt and move down here so we don't get flanked. And you, yeah, head down that way. You attack Barcelona, please. Well, in Japan, I think I had four divisions to work with. 
And there's my extra research slot. Debates inter... Oh! British Parliament debates intervention in... Bay I know, never know how to pronounce this. Ben Leno. Uh, let's see, having learned the Great War... Uh, they actually... So in this series, the Allied powers learned from the Great War. Will not underestimate the street of the Venlo region, the potential risk of seeing enemy countries being influenced there. The British Parliament has debated a possible military intervention. Uh, the political implications of such action weighed heavily on Neville Chamberlain. Several generations. Okay. So they're debating whether they should set up a military presence in the lowlands, basically. We have an extra research slot to work with now. Me, uh, what do we want to do? Probably get a land doctrine up and ready. Grand battle plan, extensive planning and preparation before the engaging is battle is key to success. Mobile warfare, superior firepower, mass assault. I got well, it's already started on this one, so I mean, that's that's a lot of time to waste. Oh man, 300 days though. Get better already. We're building these right now. We get we could upgrade our tanks. Oh, you know what we would probably be best? Things support weapons, yeah. Support weapons. So fortification effort. 15 land forts on the French border. And coastal forts. Italian highways, that's infrastructure all over the place. A production uh, oh production of eight oil. Infrastructure and Liberty. Okay, so that'll give us 12 oil if we go down that way. Triumph in Africa. Actually, let's go there. Let's go over that way. Because that opens up pretty much everything else. And I mean, I saw one that said support nationalist Spain. I'm like, kind of already doing that. Oh, we got a river attack penalty there. Uh, let's move around. We'll move around and then attack up this way. I was really hoping that Nationalist Spain would help me out more, but it looks like they're they're just kind of... Oh, okay, here we go. Come on. Just push in there. Help me take it. If we take the city, then these guys aren't going to have any supplies, I don't think. We'll, we should be good. Right, let's look at our division designer. Because right now we're fighting with these guys, which are pretty cool. Um, we could throw in more tanks. We don't have any supporter equipment in here. We can throw in an engineer company and support artillery. Let's do that. I mean, right now they're not going to have all the equipment they need for that, but it'll still be better than nothing. It'll get them some equipment. Synthetic oil. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna double up on that because we are going to need the oil. So if we look at one of these divisions, will it tell us exactly what we're missing? Support equipment and artillery. Yeah, so they don't have any of that equipment that they needed uh, right off the bat. What are we low on? Toad artillery. Well, it says there's a surplus, so it should be getting out there. Maybe it's because it's hard to get to them? It takes a little time, maybe? I'd imagine something along those lines. Quartermaster General, so that's air base, naval base, rocket... Oh, so it's air and naval bases. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's not factories, which is what I was interested in. Military factory construction speed, dockyard construction speed. Political power gain. Um, political power gain is definitely something we're going to want to work with. We're on partial mobilization at the moment. A little bit low. We're, we don't have a huge manpower pool to pull from, but I think we're going to... We're going to be good on that side. No, is there... Okay, this is not something I'm aware of. Are there... Is, are naval bombardments a thing? So, like, if we set these guys up over here, like, just move them to this province, this navy... Put my battleships outside of this province, because in Hearts of Iron 3, that was a thing. Fire at will. So they're just sitting in this province now outside. Is naval bombardment a thing? Um, I don't see it as a modifier. Terrain, enemy air superiority, commander skill. Tactics. No. It's not. doesn't look like it's a thing. That's weird. But, I mean, well, if we want, we could have these guys on search and destroy or convoy raiding. I mean, do, well, they might have convoys coming around this way. 
Have, a, have all my surface fleet convoy rating. Have my subs convoy rating. I mean, they should be able to really cover this area very well. Region coverage 10%, that's it. Okay. I was really hoping these guys would run out of supplies. This is proving more uh, difficult than I anticipated. And Nationalist Spain's getting pushed back elsewhere. It's not good. So here's my other tank. Are you ever gonna, you, well you are doing a pretty good job beating this guy. I think what we need to do is move him up here and attack Barcelona from the flank. We're almost done with that. Puts it on speed five. Get, oh, he's under attack. But that's, that's actually fine. Because he's wrecking them. All right, now we're gonna attack you. Uh, you guys wanna, anybody wanna help? Or you guys wanna flank him maybe? Or are you just gonna sit there? You're just gonna sit there, that's nice. This mountain? Mountain and storm, yeah. So, what if we did this? And just double, uh, redouble our efforts to take the port. There we go. That's exactly what we needed. Now these guys are cut off some supplies. We should be able to destroy them. Uh, double, you know, reel around and maybe do a VP rush for Madrid. See if that'll do it. Um, I don't know if that'll be a thing that I can do, but we could try. Mechanical computing machine, concentrated industry. Ooh, nice. Re re uh, reinforced chance, very good. And let's see, anything in here that we can get yet? Well, that's well, that's not too far ahead, so let's go for it. Oh, let's hope we don't lose two uh, of our wee little tank divisions. That would be awful. All right, so the guy who's got a lot of oh shit, is that mountain too? Oh, that's a forest. Uh, cancel the attack. There you go. Now, these guys should start suffering from attrition now, because they don't have any way to get supplies. So let's t move this guy out. We're going to send him around this way. Right up there like that. They don't have any way to get supplies now, because we got the port. Triumph in Africa! Hello! Alright, now down here, we can do support nationalist Spain. Uh, currently, part is fascist, has two volunteers or more for, uh, from Italy. Means volunteers in Spanish War, opinion of Italy plus. Okay, so we'll go for that. And see what it does for us. I'm waiting for the attrition, and I'm not seeing it, which is starting to bum me out. I mean, how are they getting supplies? Well, that guy's got attrition. In the mount Maybe it's because he's in the mountains. Are we getting our... All right, we are getting our support equipment. And our artillery. Okay, so these guys are a good deal stronger now. What's uh, causing the problem here? Terrain is the biggest problem. All right, so that's understandable. Is this mountain too? That's forest. What's the what's the penalty in the forest? Minus twenty eight percent. And keep that going for a little while. See how well they do. We have the equipment. Man, a year's already passed in the game. How are our CV factories doing? Ah, we're just about finished with uh, what, we, what we were doing. This will bring us up to 37. Which is less than I want. 37. Uh, let's do at least three more. Three. Yeah, there's that. Now let's do some down here in Tripoli as well. Diversify. They're putting up a hell of a fight up here. The, but this is kind of what happened before. This area is so tough, difficult to to attack into. Battles just tend to rage and rage and rage. I expected attrition because they don't have a port, but it looks like that's the only guy who's suffering. 
We might, I don't know, we might be able to overrun him. They don't have, it doesn't look like they're getting new equipment. That's good. Excavation one. And concentrated industry. Get, our, get everything industrial related up as soon as you possibly can. That is easily the key to this. Well, we're, we're almost here. We're starting to turn this around on them. You can see it flying down there. Well, what I really need to do is wipe this pocket out so all these troops can turn around and help out the, the southern areas. Otherwise, they're doomed. Doomed. How many times... I'm about to say, how many times am I going to fight in the Spanish Civil War? Basically, every game I do it. So we want to... Well, it looks like there wasn't an overrun. I don't know. I guess maybe they're getting... They must be getting supplies somewhere from something else. Alright, so... What do we got down here? Spanish-Italian Alliance. Or Demand Bailey I got. Uh, any country, original country is Republican Spain. Oh, so this is after... After Spain... Uh, wins it looks like So we can uh, assert our claims on Yugoslavia I Don't know if we necessarily want to do that right now because we could do things like Get some extra factories going So like where where the where in the name of God are they getting? Supplies from at this point mountain hills Getting them from somewhere. I don't know where it is, though. Sport weapons, good. Cavalry defense, cavalry breakthrough. We do have cavalry, so. Oh, that's that's a little ahead. Okay. Support. Uh, I do like scouts. The recon company is something I generally do add to pretty much everything. Because I think I think what the the scout does it gives you a chance to pick a better um, tactic. Oh, shit. Now we're surrounded. Uh, we need to go save that guy to make sure he doesn't get wiped out. Definitely. This is not going well. Republican Spain keeps... Uh, well, we lost Barcelona. This, this whole thing didn't go as well as I'd planned. Well, the fleet seems useless. There's no, uh, no shipping. There's no shipping. There's no convoy rating. We're small arm material designer. Entry equipment, small arm research time. Industry research time. There we go. Boom, right here. All the industry stuff. This is going poorly. Do I have tanks in reserve? I have 60 tanks in reserve. I mean, I could add more, like, tanks on here. Save that. Uh, we could tell them to start making some more tanks. As best we can. Alright, you need to, you need to stop that. And save your, your, uh, organization there. Oh, this is going poorly. This is going very poorly. Is that mountains? Is that why it's is bad? Ah, it's all mountains. Tanks in the mountains aren't a good thing. France, let me escape. I'm stuck. Oh, we did a we overran him. Oh, success. Alright, now, now 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 this guy's safe. He needs his organization back, but he's safe. Alright, so we destroyed one enemy division. Now these guys should tell me they need 120 tanks, which they do. Okay, good. And you're suffering attrition from being in mountains. So we overran one enemy division. Who knows what they've done. We just need to wipe this pocket out. And it might be too late for anything else, but we'll see. 
What? They put him on a ship? Sink him! No, no, no. I, <laughs> I thought he put him on a ship for a second. I think maybe they pulled most of their units out of this little Barcelona area. Because I'm not seeing anybody. Alright, so... You're gonna come up this way. Alright, so we're good here. That means we can turn our tanks around. And try to help elsewhere. What? They're allowed to retreat into France? Bastards. Alright, so you're heading there. Moving along the coastline would probably be the best idea for me. Because there's a lot... I think this is all mountain. Hills. I want a map mode. I want, I want a uh, better map mode so bad. And what we should probably do is stack up the border with Italy. Ooh, uh, these are actually divisions we are producing right now. Um, so let's... Grab, that's how many? That's 15 divisions? Not Italy. Uh, Yugoslavia. That is 17 divisions. No, we got 20 down here, but why don't we should probably keep those in Africa? Yeah, 17's pretty good. It's a good number. We have we don't have very many skilled generals. 17 divisions over here. Just in case we want to claim Yugoslavia, it'll be available. Well, maybe... Oh, you're gear... I, the AI loves to garrison cities, doesn't it? It has units sit there and just garrison cities. I don't know if we'll be able to pull this out. I, all of the south is... is Republican, and the, all of the north... Ah, that's a real thin battle line. Radio, very nice. Uh, decryption, the computing machine, meh. Don't really want that right now. Not using our planes that much yet, not using our navies. I'm really focused on the land stuff right now. Better artillery, that'd be good. Or... Hmm. Do we want to take the ahead penalty? Nah, probably not. Let's get that better arty. Soft attack 10%. We do have arty. We have support arty on everybody. Or do we? Um, because we're using these guys in combat right now. We do have support already here. We can do this. We have the trucks. Save that. Make them, make them stronger. See if we can overrun anybody. Any overruns would be... Ooh, army promising. Nice. Any overruns would be huge for me. So that's support art fifty percent research bonus for support artillery. Hmm. Air innovations, modernized army. Oh, that's a lot of good stuff in there. Alright, now we can claim Yugoslavia if we want. Which would piss off the fascists. But uh I'm not really too I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, who, what, what do I care? Um, I'm kind of going uh, Italy first kind of thing. Air innovations. 50% uh, research time. Okay, okay, okay. Italian highways. Prospect for oil. Ugh, I do want oil. Hmm. I definitely don't want to befriend Yugoslavia. I want to take it for myself. I definitely want to take it for myself. I want to take, like, everything, like, all of the, 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 uh, Balkans, I want to take for myself. So, I'm thinking that down this way is going to be a good idea. Hindenburg disaster. Who knows, maybe we'll be able to, uh, uh turn this around. With our massive two divisions. I mean, it, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven divisions they could put on the front to plug this... Plug this gap right here, but they're not they won't and they're not. Well, why don't we do this? Uh hit them in the rear. Hit them in the rear, try to cut them off. See what we can do. Do they get everything they needed? 
Uh, they got their guns, they got their arty. Got their... Yeah, they got everything they need, minus um, some tanks, but... We're... We don't have a lot to, to give them in terms of that. Let's, let's, let's swap this over a little bit. Three per week is what we're building. And we don't have any oil. Maybe it's time to trade for a little bit of oil. Get that going. I mean, I don't think being... Well, let's see. Um, Where were we? Production. I don't look at production. Right, that knocked it from three to five per week. What I'm, I'm, I'm really looking for this to win because that's three divisions we would knock, uh, knock off the front. And it looks like they're starting to suffer from that supply problem. They're, they're fighting at reduced strength. Come on, overrun this guy. Overrun this guy. Overrun him. Nope. Come on, we, that's, what I, that's what I'm really interested in, is destroying some of these divisions and knocking them off the map. Ah, they're attacking me, but that's fine. Well, this is dangerous over here now. Let's get closer to the front and uh, help with this battle right here. Hit him in the rear. Good. I think I think we we might have this. I think we might. I'm very interested to see what Germany is going to be doing. Well, what focus are they on right now? Army innovations two. Construction two. Pause that. So it looks like Germany is going this way. Hmm. Research. That was construction two. That was that one. So now we can do excavation. How are our logistics? We're a little bit low on pretty much everything. And Yugoslavia does have some nice resources. A uh, little tiny bit of steel, but a lot of aluminum. Which is the only thing we have a surplus of. Fuck me. Uh, they have some chromium, though. We can get oil from Romania. Yeah, we're not going to be befriending anybody. We're not going to be getting on anybody's good side, basically. We might even end up coming to blows with Germany eventually. We'll see. And just... Well, why don't we, um... Hmm. When's, when's the next run of five? Well, they're coming off pretty soon. That'll bring us up to 22. So that'll be just about where we need to be. Uh, tanks are free. We're gonna help out there. Yeah, it looks like we got these guys on the ropes. One of those divisions... This guy's about to break off. Maybe that guy's left. Nice. And... Boom. These guys should be super experienced at this point. Veterans. Well, one of them's veteran, one of them's seasoned. Just keep the pressure up as much as we can. Uh, the, the Spanish Civil War definitely does seem to be kind of like on a knife point. Uh, balanced very, very steadily. So not much happens one way or the other. Like, it ebbs and flows, but generally it, nobody can get the upper hand for a long time. Just a little bit of uh, pressure, one direction or the other, can uh, do a lot of good. All right, so I actually am going to give them a offensive line. Nothing too crazy. Uh, let's. Whoop! Oh, nothing too crazy. Get it. Uh, send it through several different countries. All right, let's drag this up, and we kind of want them to get more, go more like this. Yeah. And let's see what they can do with that. I mean, I'll get the planning bonus, and if I go land doctrine, where's my other tank? If I go land doctrine, I can get the other planning bonus. Now this is this is hills, so it's oh, they attacked me, just in time to actually uh, get in there and defend too. I don't know. I th we might have it. We're, I, I thought I thought it looked bad, but it looks like that some German volunteers showed up, and and we're starting to push them back. Wow! Look at all that tungsten in Portugal. Amelia Earhart disappears. Yugoslavia. Hmm. I wonder if they're going to be able to put up as much of a fight as I think they might be able to. They have a sizable military. 
Little, got tons of... Got a, got a great stockpile. That I'm happy about. Great stockpile. So if we wanted to... Well... Let's get support artillery in our... Regular divisions. Yeah, that put, I knew that was going to put us in a, a, a pretty big deficit. Uh, production. Never... I always feel like we never have... I never have enough artillery. There's never enough art artillery in the world. So let's swap this. I don't have enough tungsten to get it keep it keep it up. How what what deficit am I running on tungsten? Eight. It's not too bad. Modernized army. Yep. Yeah, all that great stuff in there. And it looks like we might be able to Ooh, brew machine tools and concentrate industry. More industry. More industry. More industry is good industry. Now, some of this stuff, I think some of this stuff and some of this stuff we'll get bonuses on in a mo. Let's try to upgrade our light tanks. I do enjoy light tanks. I tend to use them more than any, definitely use them more than anything else. Anti-air and anti-tank. Not super concerned about that yet, but we can get a battle plan sooner now. Or grand battle plan. Marco Polo Bridge Incident. That's five divisions fighting right there. Oh, the Japanese are here, too. The Japanese, the Germans, and the Italians all fighting in the Spanish Civil War. Let's hope for an overrun. Yep. We got it. Good. I mean, we're starting to make a little bit of progress here. Taking out some units here and there. Not anything huge, but, well, but good. Uh, infantry, army organization, division, cavalry specialist. Yes. Um, I'm going to go with that because we actually are using them. We are using cavalry. Oh, and you know what? We have to end this episode right here. Uh, it's looking pretty good so far, I think. The Spanish Civil War is still ebbing and flowing, but I think it's ebbing very slowly in our, di our direction. Really wish we could have sent just one more of those tank divisions, like this guy right here. Wish I could have sent him in as well, but uh, no go on that. Before we go, I just want to check to see our deficit. 60 tanks. Uh, not too bad. So we're filling that out. Okay, everybody. If you have enjoyed this, please just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you are interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, Hearts of Iron 4, please just drop me, drop me a like. I think I already said that. Please just subscribe to this channel. Forgot my old outro. And I'll see you next time.